my work isn't conceptual, I think it's about form and mass. Um, a lot of sculpture out there today, you have to get it, whereas a lot of my work is either observational, like something like this clay bust of Ronald Blythe, or with my carving, I improvise and I just see what comes. So the plan is, there's no plan. The two important forms for me are this ovoid of the head and the cylinder of the neck and really you're getting their whole soul emerging. I turned this quite radically and started scoring it down with a gouge. And as a result of that, as the masses all started to break up, suddenly it started to sort of suggest much more of a sort of narrative. I wanted to find a, a place that had a lot of traffic of local people who can almost interact with the stone as it's being carved. I get people that are passing and we'll start to look at the forms and they may have a different thought from what I'm seeing coming. And all that sort of feeds back into the way that I work with things sometimes. It may be that something that somebody else says will suddenly throw me off on a different tack. 